But as Alia hinted, we now want to link up with our reporter, Jeff Kirui, who has been following up on the developments of the day. Kirui, good afternoon. As you break down for us what it is like on this day at the central business districts in terms of businesses being affected in one way or the other, talk to us about what exactly is happening with the Embakasi East Member of Parliament, Babu Owino, because according to earlier reports, he was held at Wanguru Police Station in Mwea. Uh, the family definitely went up in arms trying to access him and see whether he is safe. And uh, we just want to get that update from you, Kirui, if you can hear me. Well, a very good afternoon, yes, indeed. Right now, we are outside the Nairobi Regional Police Headquarters. That is the Nairobi area. And a few minutes ago, we actually were informed that uh, Embakasi East Member of Parliament, Babu Wino, was brought here from Wanguru State. He had been detained from Tuesday when he arrived from Mombasa, the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. Uh, allegedly, he was on duty, parliamentary duties in Mombasa, and he is linked to mobilizing or organizing the anti government protest which has been witnessed in specific areas across the country. Right now we have his lawyer Ndegwe Nziru who was with him in the morning at Wanguru police station in Kirinyaga County and we are going to establish from him exactly whether he has managed to have a conversation with his client who is Babu Owino and whether they have managed to be told exactly why he is being detained by the police officers. Wakili Karibu Sana KTA News. Have you managed to see your client first of all? Yes, I managed to see him when he was being ushered into the police vehicle. That's the only time I spoke with him. I asked him whether he has taken his uh, meals. He said he has never taken a meal since Tuesday. And I asked him, I said he has not been able to take his medication since uh, he was uh, incarcerated. And unlawfully incarcerated, he has not been informed of the reason of the arrest or the detention. He has not been produced before court at any given time. And you know, uh, they were supposed to uh, produce him in court before, within 24 hours. Now we are going to the 72 hour. He has not eaten anything. He has not been produced to court. He has not been informed of the reason of the arrest. His advocates have all been uh, barred from uh, meeting him and seeing him. And even the wife has not even spoken to him. He has, she has not even seen him. We actually had to rush and follow the motor vehicles all the way from uh, Wanguru to this place. They never told us, they, they lied to us that they were, they were to present him in Wanguru police station. Only to follow the vehicles at a very high dangerous speed all the way to to, 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 uh, to poli um, regional police area uh, here in, uh, in Nairobi. Uh, and the police were lying to us and most especially one of the OCPDs there. Oh, wakili hakuna shida, tunampeleka kotini. But it looks like orders are coming from above. No police officer here is able to make a singular decision on what to do with Babu Awino. And then we are saying the only thing that you can do with Babu Awino is either you release him or you present him before a court of competent jurisdiction. So we are here to see whether they are producing him in court or they are releasing him. They have not told us anything. They are all doing things in a very clandestine manner. And it is confirmed that Babu Awino currently is at the regional police Yes, I can confirm that Babu Awino, my client, is held at the uh, police area in Nairobi. Yes, well, that I can uh, confirm. Mm -hmm. So, and it appears now there are no indications at all as to when and which uh, court he will be produced. No, there are no indications. The police has allowed, they, they, they have refused to, to allow us access to the, um, uh, the, the police station. They have blocked us, even as lawyers. We have no right to see our client. Our client has no right to be, uh, to, 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 to be represented even in that particular police station. They have completely refused and they have not told him the reason why he's being arrested. For, 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 for all purposes and intent, even if he was a terrorist, he is guaranteed the bare minimum of the protection of his rights. Among them being produced in court on time. So that's some, that's some of the gains that Kenyans are losing. You, you know, being held, being detained without trial is what is happening in this country today. Yes. Thank you very much, Wakili. So, Jesse, that is the situation right now. We also understand that, that the Mungiki, ex, the ex-Mungiki leader, actually, Maina Nzenga, was arrested yesterday night alongside three others. He's also expected to be brought to the Nairobi regional area. We are yet to confirm that from the person in charge of uh, the police headquarters. But as it stands now, the security within this police headquarters is beefed up. We've seen several lorries, a contingent of police officers just... Uh, 
being deployed here and earlier on we had managed to have a spot check across Nairobi County we were at Kangemi remember yesterday the Azimio leadership said that they are going to converge at three key positions that is the Kangemi area Uruma and uh, the Central Park in Nairobi the CBD we've made a spot check to all those areas and there is no much activity happening in those specific areas other than the police officers, of course, who are keeping vigil to ensure that the security and the protesters don't access uh, those areas. Remember, the Inspector General of Police, Kome, yesterday said that, uh, or rather, uh, uh, on Tuesday, said that the protest are illegal by virtue that the leadership of the Azimio did not notify them of uh, these planned protests. So currently, compared to yesterday, the situation is calm within the central business district. There are some few shops that are, that are open, movement of people and even matatus within and outside the CBD. Yeah, of course, so things are slowly coming back to normal within the central business district. We also managed to have a spot check along Ngong Road that has been the hotspot of the ongoing demonstrations led by the Azimio leadership protesting against the government, specifically the Finance Act, uh, seeking for the repeal of the same, uh, of course arguing that it has led to the skyrocketing cost of living. And at that area, it seemed like things are coming back to normal vehicles, are uh, moving easily through that area. We've also gone all the way to Imara Daima, uh, an area that last week on Wednesday was a no-go zone based on the bonfires that was lit on the road. We even saw the vandalism, uh, uh, vandalism that was uh, conducted at the expressway. But right now, things are calm and normalcy is slowly returning. Jesse. Well, Kirui, thanks for that update. We'll definitely be linking with you a little bit later on just to take a look at any progress around that particular case involving the arrest of the Embakasi East Member of Parliament, Babu 